who is most likely to get ghosting in a talking stage and why is it level? <laughs> What up guys, you know it's your boy, Le Mohamole from Penny the Third, aka Brown Voice. What up, it's your boy, Just Daddy G. Welcome back, yes, back to another video. And we are Defining, Defining Life. Life. We have for friendship, what? <laughs> <laughs> the events of that day were actually so crazy. So uh, we decided to go to Groove. Everyone's there, Tato's there, Matladi's there, Lucas is there, Zile's there. And then there's this bro, man. This, this this level guy, dog. I've only ever seen maybe like one clip of him, like in the looking from Jolo. And I'd never watched any of his content, but I did know that he was quite popular. People kept telling me, "Oh, it's just the G, just the G." I'm like, "Papa, what man?" <laughs> I see him, dog. He's being a section high and he's there, free drinks, dancing, whatever. I'm like, "Damn!" Now he's really working for that section. I'm like, "For sure." And then I go, dog. I meet this bro. The whole time I'm speaking to this guy, I'm just realizing he has so much energy. He's so chaotic. He feels like burning things. He's like Batman, but like without the suit, he doesn't mind being identified. <laughs> I was like, "Nah, he's kind of cool." Like. He's a group demon too, and I am like, I used to have, like, me like, I like doing like crazy stuff, but I always need someone else to do crazy stuff with. So I'm like, maybe he's kind of cool, but we'll see. After that, we just started hanging out and it was like a, a vibe, you know, we had similar taste in music, anime, and you know, just overall life. I think the, the moment I really realized like, nah, I actually like vibe with this, but like he's actually like really cool, was during December, we decided to go to an all white party and we're spending this money that like, we don't really have, like we have, but like, it's flying, dog. On the Monday, we're there like, yo, bro, what's the plan, dog? Our bank account on zero, how are we gonna eat, so bro? Basically, we were like, we had nowhere to go to sleep, right? So, for my parents watching this, I'm sorry, but we went to our flat in uh, Pretoria and we slept there. And you know it was a vibe, but Quincy didn't have any change of clothes or anything. So we went into Hatfield and he wasn't wearing his shoes and he was wearing shorts. And I felt like I got to know the real him because he, we were both broke, dusty men. And that's the best way for black men to, you know, relate to each other, you know. And we bought a burger. I think we bought one burger. And we shared it. I think we didn't even split it in half. He has braces, so he's like... <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's that's the day that we really got to know each other, yeah. For me, the biggest thing is I always know that like, if I'm in a situation, like something deep, there's always like the one person I can count on. I can be like, yo, um, the chips are down. I need like, like this is what needs to happen and I'm in this situation. Like like any any bad situation or something like that, I know I can always be like, yo, level dog, this was up. I need help with this. Because sometimes it's hard, like most of the time it's hard doing things alone and most things you can't do alone. So you need someone. So I'm just like, yo, dude, level, um, this was up, I need to shoot this, or this is the situation, I need this, whatever, whatever. So I know I can always count on him when things are like bad, you know what I mean? He has this thing where like everyone in the room can like act different and act like adjust to the space, but he brings his own space into the space. He's, he's just on character of himself. He's so aware of who he is and what he wants to be. That's something that I really, 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 really like take from him as just as a man as well. For me, he's the funniest person ever, I've ever met. And this bro, me and him, dog, we're on the same like wavelength. Also, the fact that he's so expressive, and I think that that's also something that I really touch with because being expressive is seen as like, oh, dog, just build a taxi or something from scratch. I feel like he needs to hear that, you know. Life really does get better, you know. Like I know there's a lot of ups and downs, and you know sometimes you can be confused. Like, and the crazy thing is, all of us are confused. Like I heard a lot of things he said, but I'm there like, wow, that's what he thought about me. But the whole time I'm just winging it, you know. I'm just like trying to go day by day, trying to figure it out. But I always just feel like if you truly believe something's gonna work out, doesn't you don't need to know necessarily know how or the path. But as long as you just, no matter what you do, you always a hundred percent go for what you want and like what you believe in you always make it there somehow you know for sure do i hear would you choose the hardest one first how is this the hardest one it's in the middle it's in the middle what irritates you about your friend the most what irritates me about you the most yeah oh bro like in terms of like Planning, you're horrible, bro. Like, you'll be like, yo, like, um, we, we're gonna come to the crib and shoot for two hours, end up shooting for six. No, can I tell you? No, no, no. I'm, I'm actually great with planning. I'm just bad with timing of, like, that's part of planning. No, but, like, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> like just, just the timing dog like the timing of daylight like, my time perception is off like how long it takes to get to a place how long it takes to do certain things is off that's the thing so that's why the time is my boys in a different time zone that's all i'm gonna say that's the truth who is most likely to get ghosting in a talking stage and yeah. why is it level <laughs> 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 Wait, like, do, you, do you get ghosted like that? Nah, I'm that nigga, bro. <laughs> I know, like, I, I be doing. But between us two, it's probably like me. No, but that's because I be doing the ghosting, bro. Like I just like, yo, oh, I don't like talking to people. Like even you, I don't even talk to you on WhatsApp. Like we just call, like we call, we call, and then call. That's like we have, maybe have like two, three calls a day, and then that, and it's like ten minutes, twenty minutes each. Whatever. We call like three times a day. Yeah, whenever I need something, like yo, like, what did you just? Yeah. It's actually a lot. Yeah, exactly. I know every time my phone rings, I'm like, ah, it's this guy. <laughs> but to answer your question, me, I'm a lover boy at heart. And I trust so I'm not. I trust women too easily. Do I put it next to this one? Yeah, you put it on top. Yo, dude, my hands shake. He's just doing like a pattern like that. Like, when do you want to take this on top? Oh, it's going to fall. I don't know how this thing works. Wait, wait dog, think about it. Haven't you done like, <laughs> haven't you done physics, dog? Like it works how like it works. Like, Did just, you do physics? Yes. In which grade? Which grade? And so I'm a chick and I got 80s. I know, it's crazy. Oh. <laughs> I was in physics. What did you get? Uh, I don't know. What? I said like 50. 50? <laughs> 60. Well, you're good at maths, but you're yeah, data analyst. Very, very, very good at maths. Oh, the chemistry part was bashing you? Yeah, it was dusting me. Never have I ever been in handcuffs. <laughs> what? Oh me? You? Oh, oh, nigga. What, what, not I was me. Just like you. Uh, you get arrested all the time. <laughs> <laughs> me? No, I've never been in handcuffs. For real? Yeah, never. Not once. For real? I've never been arrested, and you know I go to church, so none of that kinky stuff. So <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been in handcuffs one time. Like that. We know, bro. <laughs> we know. So one time at Moloch Africa when I was like, guys, I actually came from a, like a, a bad place, but I used to be a horrible person. Like, like back me and my boys back in like maybe grade nine, ten. Like, so yeah, yeah. everyone knows the story. I've made a story time. But you got arrested in grade nine? It wasn't necessarily arrested. So me and my boys, it was so weird. We used to do this thing. Like, so after school, we'd always buy food. Now we'd buy chips, um, chicken strips bread and then cool drink nah but then we needed dessert after so we did it the one time and then we just forever did it now nah. and the thing is oh, wait, so before you continue your story you niggas were getting dessert in grade nine not <laughs> dessert bro like we'd buy we'd get chocolate oh okay. so <laughs> wouldn't necessarily so we'd always buy chocolate in the one day we didn't have the money for the chocolate okay so we stole it you know what i mean i'm, I'm not gonna say where we stole it from <laughs> but to get this. i don't know bro but <laughs> I, just, I don't know but we, we stole it now nah. so then after that and it tasted so much better when it was stolen, I ain't gonna lie to you now. So that, that's the message you wanna send to the kids watching at home. Stealing is No 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 no, it, it has a horrible ending. Like like the ending was hor especially for me. Like, okay, so cool. Stole the chocolate, stole the chocolate. So we did it every time, every time, like months, for months on end, dog. Mm -hmm. And then the one day we wait, 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 wait. you were stealing for months. Every day we would go, not every day, but like most days after school we'd go and do this and we'd steal the chocolate. Literally open the wrapper, break the chocolate, put it in our pocket. So we do this, we do this, we do this. Now we're at a different, we're at a mall, man. We did it at a shopping center, we're at a mall. We do it, bro. As we do it, man, the security is like, yo, the guy's calling you, bro. He takes us to some room, dog. He takes us in the back. There's some guy that comes out and he's like, yo, um, do you have anything that belongs to me now? As we fold instantly, because we're like, dog, obviously he knows. We wouldn't be in here. Yeah. My boy takes the chocolate out of his pocket, puts it on the table. And you know what the crazy thing is? We had the money for the chocolate. Mm. Like, we, had, we had more than enough, man. But we put it on the table, whatever. He's like, I right, calls a guy. Guy comes, um, the the more security guy. He puts us in handcuffs, but he puts he, he handcuffs us to each other, man. So we're going. Because <laughs> now it's like, like, because if we want to run, dog, we have to run at the same rhythm, and like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's so much more admin, dog. So everyone before that happened. They also deleted their parents' numbers and stuff. I just forgot. No one gave me the memo, dog. I get there. Now they go through everyone. They're like, nah, I don't know my mom's number. I don't know my dad's number. Whatever, whatever. Get to me. Eh, my number's there. My mom's number's there. So they call. Luckily, she doesn't answer. Boom. They call my dad. My dad's like, dog, what are you doing? Whatever, whatever, whatever. He sends the money. Cool. After sending the money, someone has to come pick us up. Now my dad just paid like 200 Rand for a 30 Rand chocolate because you have to times six it or some shit if you steal. And then, yeah, that was just the whole thing, bro. And that's why I'm no longer allowed at that mall, low key. Like, I still go to that mall, but like, there's a picture of like my face on the. I know it's not relevant, but what thing. chocolate was it? Mar um, what was it called? Marvelous Creations. You know the one that pops in your no, mouth? No. I thought it was a Kit Kat. Nah. Yeah. Oh, you said you caught, got caught red handed. Is it serious? My turn. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is the way to my heart? <clears throat> um, you know, just someone that like, basically like, what's that thing? Act of service, like someone that cares, you know what I'm saying? Like, just care like, about me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, like let's say you've never tasted a certain drink that you always wanted to taste. Facts. And the person's just like, yo, dog, I got Let me get you this thing. Stop. I hate surprises though. I hate surprises because I think surprises makes you get caught in things you're not supposed to be doing. <laughs> I hate, I really hate surprises. What are you not supposed to be doing? Surprise birthday, surprise date, surprise visit. <laughs> Don't surprise me. Like, I hate being surprised. Um, let me just say something. Yo. Yo. Fuck. Fucked up. Do you think you're gonna get it? Can you please move? <laughs> oh fuck, I don't think you're gonna get it. Fuck. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. <laughs> I've doubted you so many times. You know it's so possible. I could be I'm thinking, but I'm thinking. Ish. It's okay. <laughs> Trying to give up. Chess. Okay, it's okay. Chess. Oh, sure. Wait. No matter how many you give us, it's oh, shy. I almost had it, trust me. Like, trust me, trust me. I, 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 you can't feel what I'm feeling, but I almost had it, bro. So when I was growing up, you know, I really have friends and stuff. I was actually quite alone. I was really funny though, but like not that funny. Funny ha ha, but not funny ha. You get what I'm saying? And then... Nobody gets what that means. I am talking to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like once I grew up cool, I feel like you grew up. I actually, the tuck shop lady probably gave him free sandwiches. It's like cool. I actually didn't. Like I used to like be so lame. Like, really? In, but you said in high school you were that yeah, guy. Yeah, no, 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 in high school. But like, you know why? You know why I was that guy in high school? Because like, I knew where I came from, dog. Like, I used to be so lame in like primary school. And then, it's because I was a kid, dog. Like, I'm, I'm a weird nigga. Like, I just keep my weirdness in my private time. Like, you know what I mean? So, thing is, obviously as a kid, I didn't know that you're supposed to like, sometimes do it in private, you know what I mean? So I'm like, I used to like, play with trees. Like, I used to like, not play with trees, but like, I used to like, like play now, but like imaginary situations and like imaginary like stuff in my head now. So I'd like I'd be like on the field like like jogging from side to side like fighting like Power Rangers and stuff like that. But the trees are around, so they're like hunting plays with trees and stuff. So they thought I was so lame, bro. And now that happened like in grade two and three and stuff. So like they had that on me and like till grade like six, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then I changed schools. And then because I knew how lame I was, bro. Like you know when you come from like dark beginnings, bro. You. Yeah, I, I made sure I grabbed that opportunity by the hands and yeah. then so that was my first try and then in grade 8 I went to a different school so now this is my Second new start bro, yeah. so I, I made I like fixed all the mistakes from the first new start yeah. so I was so cool bro. I just went uh, I get yeah. it, I get it, you had to leave the school <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, just leave it alone. Damn. What would you say he's taught you about friendship? Oh, friendship takes work, it takes patience, and it takes communication. I think that's the biggest three. He's like my little brother, but like, I. What? I'm not lying, you know. Breathe. Listen, listen. Breathe, <laughs> It's happening. It's happening one of these episodes. <laughs> that was talking. Nah, tell them how I changed your life, bro. Don't, don't, don't look bro me now. Communicate. Like, you're my little brother, basically. Talk. Like, love each other. There's a lot of love. Expression. <laughs> I'm always going to be there for you. <laughs> you. Like, being around you just really teaches me how great I am. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's not like like for real. Like but it, true. It really like it's teaches true. me like the influence I have over people. Like yeah. you seem like a, you're like a guy that's like sure of himself, but I I can make you do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I made him quit alcohol, dog. True. You know, like true. You had to tell the story. Yeah, no, I had to. I had because you made me your son. Basically, you're like I didn't make you a son. You're like my little brother. I'm older than you. I see where you're going. I'm like no. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, there's Daddy G. Bad. <laughs> Obviously, you're like, nah, you're actually, you are like a big brother, bro. Yeah. You're like, actually, I think to describe it, probably like twins. Oh, because no, we have no, a lot of. You can let go. You old You old as hell. You old as hell. I'm old as hell. Thank you so much, guys, for watching our Defining Friendship episode. I'm Just Daddy G. You can find me on. Instagram at Just Daddy G, Facebook on Insta, Just Daddy G, Twitter at Just Daddy G, and TikTok Just Daddy G underscore. Oh, and YouTube at Oh Just Daddy G, Just Daddy G vlog, <laughs> Just Daddy G shorts. I'm 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 level. I'm level on pity, and uh, you can find me at level underscore on on Instagram and on level on TikTok and YouTube. Obviously, just level on pity. Oh, and level hang on shorts on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and please make sure you like, comment, and share with everybody. And subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. You must subscribe. For sure. We'll give you a second. Did you do it? They didn't do it, but it's fine. <laughs> but do it. I'm joking. Do it. Thank you so much. They started, they take, the finally is trying to take us against each other. <laughs> <laughs> when am I the happiest? <laughs> um, you, do you want me to say it with me? <laughs> that was not what you want me to say. I mean. <laughs> <laughs>